What's up you guys, it's your boy Felipe and today we're gonna be talking about the market crash of 2021. Is it coming? Let's find out. Hey guys, before we get started though, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. We don't say that as YouTubers because we like to, it really does help the algorithm. Take a few seconds, take your handy dandy mouse, scroll down, click, oh, I clicked on something on here. <laughs> click on your mouse, hit the like button, it really helps. All right guys, so we're gonna be talking about the 2008 crash versus 2021, are we gonna have a crash? This is huge right now because everyone feels like it's coming, but I'm gonna explain why I think, drum roll, I don't think we're gonna have a recession in 2021. And I'll tell you what, number one is cash is being printed at such a high rate that I do not think we'll have a financial, financial, fi fi financial crisis in 2021. There's way too much money being printed, honestly. It's, it's a lot easier than ever to pick up some dough right now. I think that the Federal Reserve is doing way too much. The Federal, too much money is being printed for us to have a problem. Let me tell you what the problem is gonna be though. Inflation. No, you can't just print more money. I saved the economy. Which unfortunately for real estate investors is okay. Our value of our homes go up, our value of our land goes up, everything that we're doing goes up when everyone else working the same amount of time, their value goes down, unfortunately. Now, this is also why it helps us. Let's say you have a $200,000 loan and you hold it for 20 years. Let's say it's still a $200,000 loan in 20 years and you never paid any of it off. In 20 years, $200,000 is gonna be a lot less money than it is today, right? So loans are okay during inflation because that loan value goes down and we still owe the same amount of money. I know, not great for everyone, perfect for real estate investors. Number two, we have learned from 08. See, in 2008, people were getting loans they didn't deserve, they didn't qualify for, which is why so many people defaulted, and they were given these like prime whatevers to other institutions with defaulted loans, and it just crashed the whole financial system. We've learned from that. Loans are very, very hard to get now, not like in the past. So this is another reason why I think the economy is gonna stay up, because we have too much money being printed, which causes inflation, and then we also have uh, loans that are harder to get. So that means that people that are buying the loans have more secure loans than just uh, you know your average person getting a loan, right? Number three, why I don't think a recession will happen, but let's just say worst case scenario, it does. If you're a real estate investor, it's okay because if you have cash reserves like you're supposed to or lines of credit like I do, and during a recession, rents typically and historically have gone up. People are losing their home, unfortunately, left and right, which means they're gonna wanna rent from me, which means my rent goes up, I win. So if you're a real estate investor, in a crash, out of a crash, up or down, your rents are gonna go up. So hold on tight, diamond hands, isn't that what they say? Don't sell, don't sell, don't sell. And the last thing is, there's not enough houses. This is the main reason why I believe that the crash isn't gonna happen in 2021 is because we don't have enough houses built. This was another reason in 07 and 08 that there was a giant crash. There was tons of buildings going up and up and up and up for all the loans that were just given out. And at the end of the day, there wasn't enough real money to back those loans. Right now, we don't have enough housing to fit the bill. People are moving all over the country because coronavirus just uh, is starting to let up. So everyone's starting to move to different places of the country and there's just not enough infrastructure. There's not enough houses to go around. I do not think we, this is a perfect recipe for not a recession. I think, I think inflation is gonna be really bad. I think your dollar is not gonna buy you what it used to buy you, but I'm almost 100,000% sure that we are not going towards a recession simply because the, the soup that's getting made right now isn't there. Again, we are not going to a recession. I think we are going more towards a really bad inflation with our money. Um, so this is why I invest in uh, land uh, or, or rental properties, I mean, cryptocurrency and e-commerce, right? 
because e-commerce thrived doing, during the coronavirus. So I have an Amazon and a Walmart store that I sell on e-commerce. If you're interested in that, drop me in the comments or follow me on Instagram, Felipe Mejia, R-E-I. Uh, and you can DM me if you have questions about those. Very, very profitable. Um, but yeah, I invest in rental properties, cash flow, uh, as well as um, cryptocurrency and e-commerce. Those are the things that did really well. So these are the reasons why I don't think we're gonna be in a recession. The market crash is not gonna happen because there's way too much cash being printed, which is number one. It's gonna cause inflation, but not a market crash. We learned from 08 and we're not giving out bad loans like we were in the past. Rents go up during a crash, so worst case scenario, something ridiculous happens and we do go through a crash. My rents are gonna go up and I'm gonna be fine financially in that regard. And there's just not enough infrastructure, there's not enough houses to meet demand for everyone that's moving. So if you think we're going into a market crash in 2021, we are not. Thanks guys, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Appreciate it.